Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. F Dash here with F Dash TV. Got a card monsters video for you. And before we begin, I just do want to make note that I am not making this video to say that Farmer Bob is a terrible player. I don't think he is. I actually quite like the idea that he's going for with his deck. Nor is this a video to say that Sinful Ent or ENT is a bad card. It may very well be a bad card, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to show you that you really have no idea, right, how the matches in this game are going to go. And really, one false move is all it takes to make you lose. And sometimes that false move happens in the very beginning of the game. All right, so get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and begin. So before we get to the match, I think it's important to go over this deck so you can properly understand how Bob loses this match in the very first turn, right? So check out his deck here. His hero ability is Poison of Trick. And for those of you unfamiliar with this ability, what it does is that your front row monsters with disease will gain outbreak, okay? So looking at his deck, only one monster natively has disease, and that's going to be Sinful ENT, right? But she also comes with this ability, as you can see on the screen, called Poison Halo, which is at the start of your turn, all your monsters with disease will gain Outbreak, and all your monsters with Outbreak will gain disease too. This is very, very important, right? Because again, other than that lizard thing, none of these other monsters have Poison innate, okay? However, as you can see from his items, he does have a couple items that do give certain monsters poison. So it is very important for him, I don't know why I said it important like that. It's very important for him to get monsters on the board with disease so that they can gain outbreak. And it's equally important for him to make sure that Sinful ENT is on the board so that she can give everyone with disease outbreak and everyone with outbreak disease. So this is very, very important. To note so i wanted to to make sure we covered that and now let's go ahead and get into the matchup itself okay so this is the very 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 beginning of the match uh, i've got it paused let me go ahead and change this to times two so we can get that going uh, i've got it paused he's going to go first he won the coin toss so he's going to go first notice the cards that he has available he's got sinful ent and he has t-rex right He's not going to be able to play T-Rex in his first turn. It's just not going to happen unless he sacks Sinful ENT. Now, as we covered earlier, Sinful ENT is very, very important to, this, to the overall success of this deck, right? T-Rex is kind of like a cherry on top, and the other Elite is also a cherry on top, right? But Sinful ENT, honest to God, if you look at the way this deck is supposed to play... She is the pillar, right? So if she goes down, this deck falls apart, which is exactly what you're going to see. This deck completely falls apart as soon as she dies, right? So he had two options here. He could have, well, he actually had like, like three options. He could, number one, play Sinful. Number two, sack Sinful and play T-Rex. Or number three, do nothing and just skip. Honestly, his best bet would have been to skip. Because what he actually does is he plays Sinful, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, and and let it continue just so you can see what I do. And then you're going to be like, wait, you're kind of a hypocrite, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go. He's going to play Sinful and sack some. So look, he still sacks an item, right? Which is interesting. Um, but he still sacks an item because look at the next card in his in his deck. It's the, uh, the what is the Corrupted Lapia, right? So he's going to need an extra crystal there, right? So he sacked the item. He's like, whatever. Now, again, this is not to say that Sinful is a bad card. I, you know, to be honest, I actually want her, right? Because look at her stats here. He's got our level six. He's got four thorns, five poison. She's got outbreak with poison halo and fog. Or not fog, but the, the, the poison fog, right? Which puts more poison on people. To me, this is fantastic, right? For my deck that I'm going to be, or my, the you know the suicide outbreak deck that I have, this is a fantastic card to add, right? So again, I'm not saying she's a bad card. What I am saying is that she is too important of a card to his deck to have played her first, 
not just first, but naked first. She is completely vulnerable. And again, as you'll see, this is going to become a problem because as soon as she goes down, the rest of this deck is going to go down as well. Now, check out what I play first. I play... I don't even know what this card is called. The Poison Corpse, which is very, very similar to Sinful ENT in the terms of it's got thorns and it's got poison, right? Mine is at level 5, and his Sinful is at level 6, right? So she gets a little bit better um, at level 8. Now... The, there's a fundamental difference between why my play was good and his play was bad and why mine or not really mine but why his ended up costing him the game now again we've covered this many times but i i, I have to stress sinful ent is the foundation of his deck the other i think it's ancia i think his name the other elite and t-rex are both cherries on top of this deck, but they are not built around them, right? His deck is not built around those two cards. They're just additional cards. However, his deck is actually built around Sinful. The difference between what he did and I did, Poison Corpse, I don't give a fuck if he lives or dies, to be honest. That's the, the, the most basic difference is that i don't care what happens to this card as soon as i play this card he's already dead i don't care right this is not a card that's going to be the reason i win or lose a game it's just not this card is thrown out honestly for a couple of reasons number one is to give the opponent a a false sense of safety right because this is especially at this level this is a shitty card it's got 11 health only does two thorns and ooh, it gives me four poison. Like, who cares about that? That, in the long scheme, that doesn't matter at all, right? Number two, if he actually hits something, which in this case he will, he's going to inflict them with four poison. Which, again, to most people, who cares? That's only four poison. Doesn't matter to me. But it matters to me, specifically, F dash. Because that's, look who else is in my in my hand there. I got Medusa ready. I also have the Venom Vial ready, right? This is a, po a, uh, a suicide outbreak deck. That four poison translates to eight HP, right? So I throw him out again because he's relatively a shitty card and people are going to look at him and be like, oh, I don't, who cares, right? That's not going to bother me. And it's definitely not going to bother magic users because they're going to completely bypass everything, right? But again... I use him for the false sense of security, and number two, with competitiveness, he actually does attack somebody, and if he can hit them, again, that's eight total damage when I throw in Medusa, right? So, that's the difference there. I don't need Poison Corpse, but he does need her, right? So here's what happens. I hit him, I take four, uh, or he's going to take four poison, I take five, that's fine. So his second card... He's going to throw in the Lapia because, of course, he needs his T-Rex to go down to, to three, right? Which is, as you can see, is what happens here. So let's keep going. Notice, though, that uh, still nothing is attacking me, right? So I get a free turn here because I don't have to do anything except continue to attack. Yes, I'm going to take Thorn damage, but again, who cares? This guy's already dead to me. He's just giving me bonus time on the board, giving me crystals and inflicting everybody with poison. Fantastic. I love it, right? So, now they all have poison, right? So he brings in the dino. Which, you know, I don't I don't know that that was a great idea. At this point, you probably should have brought in the T-Rex. The just so you could have killed him, right? And made T-Rex grow. I think that would have been a much, much better play. But he brought in the, the dino here. And it's fine. Uh, the problem, of course, is that the dino didn't kill it, right? So I survived yet another turn. Yes, I died there, but who cares? He can't face me at all, right? So, so okay. He put on the uh, the little fog healing thing on Sinful. So that I can't kill her or whatever in the next turn. Uh, really, whatever. Um, if you didn't catch that, what I just did, I just threw the Venom Vial. And that was to remove that fog from her. So that when I eventually do put in Medusa, she does die. Okay? So, there's that. Um... Uh, that was actually the Venom Vial killing the Corrupted Lapia because I hit him twice. So that was 
uh, 8 poison, 16 total damage, right? Let me slow this down because I think it's going a little fast because I'm pausing it. Alright. So then I throw in another item there. Throw in Medusa. Both of these cards are dead. Goodbye. Right. He just wasted whatever crystals. Doing pretty much nothing, right? So at this point, now he's going to be like, okay, now I'm going to bring a T-Rex. I'm going to soup him up. I'm going to sack a card. And then I'm going to bring in another card. <sighs> why? Right? He's So, anyway. So my one of my questions is why? Why did he bring in another card? There was no reason to put Potion Queen on this board at all, right? Because T-Rex is already going to be doing 11 damage. My card, Medusa, only has 10 damage. There was absolutely no reason to put her on the board. But he does anyway. Whatever, whatever. As, uh, you, you'll, you'll be... We're, we're going to see. His, his This deck is going dead, right? So whatever, he's going to kill her again doesn't matter to me you know she is one of you know the good cards that i want but she already did her job as soon as i put her in the game she's gonna do her job right so he's gonna get bigger again i don't really care because check out what's already in my hand i've got a god's judgment so t-rex can get as big as he absolutely wants i don't care it's not gonna bother me at all right so now i put in my little fog machine here he's just giving people fog that's honestly all i care about he switched it up just so he can make sure that he kills him. Again, absolutely fine. I don't really care. I'm going to go ahead and probably throw in... Oh, no. At this point, yeah, he's going to die. I'm going to throw in the panda. So as you can see, I mean, the T-Rex, again, if he would have put him in first, he would have been so big, right? And most people at this, this point in the game don't carry God's judgment. And so you would have gotten him to be much, much bigger, and you still would have gotten the poison, the outbreak from the hero ability, from Sinful, and she still would have been alive, right? And at this point, he's got three cards left. Uh, I have four. He puts in his elite here. It's not really going to matter, right? Because she doesn't even have to die. I'm sorry, she doesn't even have to live for him to die. I, I can kill him in so many different ways. He only has three cards left. Right? And again, unfortunately, he didn't kill me there. He only had three cards left, and I had both... Both Ally and her Toxic Bond, as well as Pig and the Pig Combo. So there was no way he could have possibly beat me. And at this point, I'm basically going to troll him a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to make him kill himself, because he has no other items. But as you can see, he really messed up from the very first play. Because his first play should have been to skip. You know, so that he could have done something better the next run. There was no reason to throw Sinful ENT there at the very beginning. Naked. Just waiting for her to die, you know? And then he thought he had a second reprieve there with, with uh, T-Rex. But, I mean... Maybe against a, a person who doesn't really know how to play this game, and a you know noob, that would have been enough, right? But against a, a better quality of player, I'm gonna you know they're gonna have God's judgment or one of its brothers or sisters, and that T Rex isn't really a problem, right? So again, you can lose this game, and again, this is not to to say Bob is a bad player or that I'm a godly player. No, no, no I'm just going to I'm you know, showing you that. You can lose this game, absolutely, by making one false move, right? And sometimes that false move comes at the very beginning of the game. You know, so you just gotta, you gotta be careful with what you're throwing out there, especially if it's a card that's integral to the success of your deck, right? So don't just throw cards out willy-nilly, you know? Don't be afraid of skipping first turn either, right? Because if, let's say he did skip his first turn and he lost a card, Okay, who cares? You know, how many cards did he sack in that game? You still would have kept the most important card to your deck alive. And that's what you want, right? So that's 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 basically what I wanted to show today. Again, I love Bob as a player. He's one of my friends in game, so but I just I, I thought this was an interesting matchup because of how it just all goes downhill basically from the first first turn, right? So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, all six of you who watch. Uh, shout out to uh, Charmander for always watching. Uh, again, have a good holiday. If I don't make another video, which I probably won't, have a good holiday. And uh, I will see you guys next time on FDS TV. Take it easy.